Hello. Today I am here to show you uh, and teach you about the fracture and cleavage of different minerals. Um, right here in my hand I'm holding a quartz crystal which has very well developed crystal faces. As you can see they are shiny, smooth and they shine at the same time on the whole surface. However, this uh, crystal phase doesn't tell us anything about how this mineral is breaking. So to see the, the fracture or cleavage, if the mineral has fracture or cleavage, we actually have to break it. So here we are. I'm going to hammer it and see what happens. Okay. So now, now we can see the broken surfaces of this quartz. And you can clearly see that they are really, really irregular pieces. Right here, look at this one. There is no surface shiny or it's very, very irregular. And it looks like glass pieces, pieces actually. Show you another one. So this quartz, uh, when we break it, it has nothing like when it was a quartz crystal. And we could see this shiny... Uh, flat surfaces. Uh, when we break it, it actually breaks very, very irregular, as you can see, very irregular. So the quartz, we can say, does not have cleavage. That just means that inside of its structure, there is no weakness plane. There is no direction along which the, the um, mineral bondings are weaker than other way. So the quartz has a... Uh, crystal structure which doesn't have any weakness direction. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a mineral which actually has cleavage. So I'm going to break this piece of calcite and see what happens. It hasn't been yet. Oh. So when you just look at these pieces in a distance, what you can see is that they are about the same shape. So when we break the calcite, actually every single time it will break like this. So that just means that we can repeat these surfaces. So inside the calcite structure, there are weakness direction along which Anytime you hit the calcite, it will break. Uh, now, we can talk about the cleavage uh, in terms of quality and quantity. When we talk about the quality, we can say if it's really, really perfect cleavage or, or very good cleavage or smooth cleavage or imperfect cleavage. When we talk about the quantity, we can tell how many cleavage direction the mineral has. First of all, the, the quality is how flat, how shiny the surface is, how perfect. So the calcite really have a bunch of very perfect cleavages. This is one of the best uh, mineral cleavage ever. When you pick up the, the broken piece, if you turn it around in your hand, and you see the whole side of the mineral shine at the same time as you turn it around, we say that it has a cleavage. The parallel sides count as one way. So this has one way, and if you turn, on the, turn it on the side, it also has a, a flat, shiny surface. So that's another cleavage way. And then if you turn it to this side, and it, you turn it around, you can see it also shines at the same time. So it has a third way of cleavage. So one way, two way, three way. The parallel sides are counting as one way of cleavage. So we can say that the calcite has three ways of cleavage. Now another interesting fact about the calcite that the cleavage planes, and what is the angle in between the cleavage planes? The so calcite cleaves uh, as a rhombohedra, we call it. The rhombohedra, you have learned about rhombohedra, so you know that that just means that, that they are not 90 degrees. So the cleavage planes are either about 60 or 120, something like that.
so it's rhombohedra, but the cleavage planes have an angle with each other which is different from 90 degree. Let's work with gypsum right now. Uh, as you can see, this piece of gypsum has really a uh, shiny surface. It shines at the same time uh, on the other side also. So this here is a one way of perfect cleavage. But let's see what's happening on the other side and how well can we actually um, repeat this cleavage plane. Because gypsum is a soft mineral, it easily can be scratched by your fingernail. Right there. So I'm going to try to cleave it with just a piece of knife. Yeah, right here. So I could cleave it easily, as you can see. And when I take it apart, it's perfectly flat and shiny surface. So that's a perfect cleavage this way. Now let me see, let us see the other way. Like if I try to See, I broke it just off right now, and that is an absolutely perfectly flat, shiny surface also. <coughs> and this is parallel, so that's another way of cleavage. And there is a third way right here. So gypsum also have three ways of cleavage, as you can see. Now, there is another very interesting uh, features of gypsum, and that is the so-called plasticity, that actually I can bend this mineral, and it's going to stay banded like that. And uh, this, this um, property is very well used in, in a lot of um, way we use gypsum, like the plaster, and we can, we can uh, shape it, and it's very, very important property for it. Um, but also, if you, if you push it further, then it just breaks along those cleavage planes. And I mean, it just broke along this cleavage plane. So remember, the gypsum has the plasticity. We can bend it without breaking it, but then also um, we can just break it along these cleavage surfaces. It always cleaves, uh, breaks perfectly straight, as you can see. So we can break it as small as possible or as we want. So remember, gypsum has three ways of cleavage. Uh, this is one, two, and this is the third way, three ways of cleavage. And remember, gypsum is really soft. You can just scratch it with your, it just broke again. You can scratch it with your fingernail, just like that. This here is the cleavage of the mica. This is a piece of muscovite. And as you can see, we can bend this too, but it won't stay like that. So it's not like gypsum. Um, and the cleavage, as you can see, this surface is very flat and shiny. So this is a perfect way of cleavage, the two side parallel, perfect way. Let me see if we can repeat this. Very easy, you just put your finger in there. And see, it produced a perfect flat, shiny surface there. So this is one way of perfect cleavage. But now if you if you look at the, the side surrounding that cleavage, like the sides are very, very irregular. And if you try to break it, it breaks very, very irregularly, you see? So there is no cleavage plane. So this mica, this is actually a muscovite mica. This has one way of cleavage, no more, just one way of cleavage. And it's easy to repeat because all you have to do is just put your nail in there and here we are so perfect cleavage and this here we're trying to break the halite remember the halite is your salt sodium chloride so when you taste it it's easy to know because when you taste the halite it also tastes salty so let's break the halite see it breaks really easy because the halite also uh, pretty soft like three on the hardness scale so these are the pieces I'm breaking as we speak. You can see that they are quite similar to the broken pieces. So when we pick this up and we turn it around, that's a shiny surface parallel. So that's one way 
turn it around, that's also one shiny surface shining at the same time, so that's two. And if we look at the third side, that also shines at the same time, so it's three. So it has one, two, three. And if you look at the angle of these cleavage planes, they are um, 90 degree. So the, the halide broke by the cube. So here we have a halide cube. And if you lick it, it has salty taste. Right here, I just broke the, uh, the sodium plagioclase into four pieces. And if I pick up one of the pieces and I turn it around, you can see this shines at the same time. The sides are parallel, so that's one way of cleavage. If I turn it around, you can see that this side shines, shines at the same time. And it's also parallel, so that's two ways of cleavage. And if I turn it on the third side, it's irregular completely, and on the other side too, and it's not even parallel. So this here, this mineral has two cleavage planes here, and if you look at the angle in between the cleavage plane, they are 90 degree, more or less. I think it's 89, but it's very, very close to being 90 degree. So this is the sodium plagioclase, or albite, two ways of cleavage. Here I just broke the amphibole, and these are the pieces which came off of it. And you can see that this side, if you try to shine it, it shines at the same time. Here the cleavage is not so perfect because it's not completely flat, but when you turn it around it shines at the same, si same time on the whole side. So we do say that that's one way of cleavage and it's parallel, so that's one way. And then I turn it, and you can see on this side that it shines at the same time when I turn it. So that's what you're looking for. Even though it's not perfectly flat, it still shines at the same time on the whole side, and that's a cleavage plane. It, it's not as good cleavage as like with the mica or the calcite, but still it's none of the less it's cleavage. Now if we look at the angle between these cleavage planes, this is about 60 degree and it's 120 on the other side, right here. This is about 120. I don't know how well you see it, but I can show it on the bigger piece. He, right here, this here is 120 degree in between the two, ang uh, two cleavage plane. So that's amphibole. Pretty good cleavage. The whole side shines at the same time, even though it's not perfectly flat. It's still a pretty good cleavage. It's good cleavage, I should say. So this is amphibole.